Okay, so let's talk Geek Week. Let's talk Netflix. Let's talk new shows coming out. First, I want to talk about Arcane. If you have not seen Arcane, go watch it now. It is such a good series. Uh, as a, a league player for over a decade now, and it's, it's crazy to say, but I've been playing League for so long. I absolutely love Arcane. And I think one of the things about Arcane is that you don't need to be a player of the game to enjoy the show. The show is just really well done. If you got time to, to sit back, run through a, a nine episode series, just give it a shot. It's so good. Season two is on the way in November. And th this is probably one of the things I'm most excited for. Like, I would say of all the, the new things premiering, Arcane is the one I'm most excited for. Possibly even more than the One Piece live action, which is kind of crazy, but I... I absolutely love Arcane. I've rewatched it so many times. I plan on being front and center when it drops in November. They're gonna do like the, the three piece like they did last time where they drop in November. It's gonna be on November 9th, 16th, and 23rd. Each set, they're gonna drop three episodes. So it's gonna be another like nine episode, three parts. And I'm not gonna go into details in case you haven't seen Arcane already, even though you, you really should have by now. But it, it looks like it's going to be a hype season. I'm seeing a lot of my girl Vi. So that's automatically a plus for me. But it looks like a lot of cool things are going to be happening here. Next up, Avatar live action. So the first season did not go well, in my opinion. I think it was really poorly done. Just a lot of issues with that first season. They're, they're going for round two. I think they got greenlit for two and three. At the, at the very most, I know they got greenlit for two. Um, and they dropped the trailer. The trailer has Toph in it. And if you know about my avatar love, you know that Toph is my favorite character. Barna. Toph is my favorite character in Avatar and in Korra. <laughs> That's how much I love this character. If they mess up Toph, there is no redemption. There is, there is nothing they can do to earn their good graces back from me. It's just, it's over. So... We are going to see how well they do Toph. They announced the actress for Toph, which is going to be Mia Czech, I believe if I'm saying her name correctly. And it, it's odd enough because she doesn't really look like I would expect Toph to look. But then again, she doesn't have her hair in the giant like poof that Toph normally does. That may change things. For for some reason, like with, with the Avatar casting, they really nailed down the looks of certain characters. Like... I don't know if there's a person in this world that looks like Sokka more than the guy who plays Sokka looks like Sokka. And I think they did pretty well with like a lot of the other characters as well. Um, but I'm, I'm curious to see how she's going to be. I don't know her from anything else. I think she's in something like a few other things. I haven't seen that stuff, but I'm excited to see how that plays out. I think it's really cool that they're still giving them a chance to try something out. It's really just up to the writing. The, the writing is the weak point. I think they gotta they gotta work on that. They gotta figure out what the issue was, and they gotta go from there. But as far as like the the actors and actresses, I think they they did well what they were given. So I'm excited to see how well she's gonna do. They also announced a new cyberpunk. If you haven't seen Cyberpunk Edge Runners, go check that out as well. Really good, really depressing, <laughs> but really good. And I'm excited to see where they're going from that. If it's Studio Trigger, you know, I mean, I'm gonna be in whoever decides to produce it if it's studio trigger again i'm a hundred percent in whatever trigger does i'll be there for and last but not least we have the one piece live action so we got a, a lot of drops for the live action here a lot of cool drops so we have joe manganiel who's going to be mr zero he's going to be crocodile and they did they, they did like a few different um pieces for the one piece live action during the uh, the stream and so they had Joe come out, they announced him. Geek Week 2024! Give it up for Mr. Zero, Joe Manganiello! I will say he, I think he looks the part of Mr. Zero. Again, this is a person that I, I'm not really familiar with as far as the acting world. 
it's weird because I feel like I've seen his face a few different times, but I can't pin it anywhere. And when I look through like the the filmography, the his television history, I, I see like bits and pieces of shows that I have seen. Like apparently he was on Scrubs. I don't remember him being on Scrubs. He was only there for one episode. But like a lot of other things that he was in more prominently, I don't think I've watched. So it's that's probably why I could recognize his face, but just not really be able to put him anywhere. Also, he reminds me of Jamie Lannister a little bit. But his face is just it's so familiar to me. I don't know why. But I think he he'll make a good fit for Crocodile. We also got Lyra Obova, who's gonna be also I don't know if I'm saying that name right. Me Robin. Miss All Sunday. So we got Robin and we got Crocodile. Which are characters we've been waiting, we especially been waiting to see Robin for a while now. But we've been waiting for these characters because they said they were going to announce like they were going to slowly trickle in live action stuff, you know, as time progressed. And we finally got like, I think we have all of the cast. I don't know if we know who Chopper is going to be, but we actually got a visual of him as well. One of the cool things they did during like the, the reveal and everything is they had Joe on. But they they were doing like a discussion with Joe and and Jeff comes out. If you don't know who Jeff is, Jeff Ward is Buggy. And so, OK, considering that tonight is the coming out party. For boo, the shut up, boo, shut up, boo, shut up. Uh. Hey, Jeff. I didn't even have to pay him that much money to do that. <laughs> All right, let's let's break this up. Let's break it up because listen, there's only one villain on the show oh, that yeah, matters. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. How many berries do you have on your wanted poster? Okay, guys, 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 guys. Whoa, listen, whoa, listen. Whoa, hey, whoa. Nah. Whoa. Man. If this is Man. a match of brute strength. Then yeah, I'll take you on, guys. Joe. Jeff, listen, on what? one of these, we are, we are a family. We are like a guild. Let's not get cross with uh, one another. Oh. Cross. It's not, let's. I kind of like the sound of that. Yeah. And Jeff was probably, if not my favorite, one of my two favorite people from the, the first season of live action. The other one being Emily. I think Nami and Buggy carried that season all the way through they they hard carried but like because buggy isn't in every single episode uh it, it kind of balances itself out where i think i really like how jeff portrays buggy uh and i really like how nami is portrayed by emily but uh jeff just another level of entertainment for for the character that buggy is it really it brings new life to buggy and so he came out and they like they have some banter here and there which is, is really funny in character stuff they even do like a, a cross guild type of sneak which i it's funny because i'm pretty sure joe and jeff at the very least they, they may have like heard the term know what it's about they have no real idea what cross guild is i would imagine i don't think they're like avid one piece readers as far as I know, I know Matt is so Matt Matt's Matt's one who makes kind of like the the kind of dig at Cross Guild and then the other two kind of chime in. So I know Matt knows what he's talking about. I don't really know if the other two do. I feel like it's a situation where Matt was like, so at some point in the story, these two characters start working together in a thing called Cross Guild. So I'm going to make a joke about Cross Guild and you guys can just, you know, play off that. I feel like something like that happened, but either way, it's still a nice little nod. Uh, I, I appreciate it because I know that the live action is not aimed towards like the deep manga readers as much as it's aimed towards the casuals, the new people. So having little hints like that, that's always nice. It, it gives you a different type of hope that, you know, the live action will exist long enough to get to that point. I, that's it's going to be a hard thing to do, I think, to get the One Piece live action all the way to where we're at now. If they can get like a full live action series out of this, that would be insane. That's all the, the geek stuff I really wanted to cover. They did some stuff on Squid Game. I, so I, I liked the first, like I think 80%, 90% of Squid Game. 
Really, I think it's just the ending that I was just like, okay, I have lost all interest in anything that could be happening next. So uh, I haven't even watched like the trailer for Skit Game uh, season two. I just know that they announced it. Um, I may check it out at some point. Like I said, uh, hit or miss for me. I might still watch it just because I watched the first season, but uh, my interest in it has dwindled severely. Yeah, so be sure to check out like the, the trailers and the drops for all the stuff I mentioned. It's a bunch of cool stuff. I'm really excited. They're going to end the, the year here on a bang because they're going to have like a bunch of stuff coming out. Um, like I said, Arcane comes out in November and that's what I'm most excited for. So we got we got some time. I'm probably going to try and react to that. Uh, I would at least love to try and react to that. We'll, we'll see how that goes. But be sure to like, comment, subscribe, smash the like button. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.